Do you believe that lightning never strikes the same spot twice? Or are you one of those people who bundle up in several layers during the winter, convinced that the cold will give you the sniffles? These are just some of the many misconceptions woven into the fabric of our shared knowledge. Passed down through generations, they can become ingrained so deeply that we mistake them for facts. But fear not, truth seekers. Today, I'm here to shed light on those long-held beliefs and separate myths from reality. From misunderstood natural phenomena to misguided ancient beliefs, I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 wrong things most people believe. 25. The forbidden fruit was an apple. We've all seen the image, Eve plucking a bright red apple from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But here's a juicy twist. The Bible never actually specifies what the forbidden fruit was. It simply refers to a mysterious fruit from the tree. In all likelihood, the popular association with apples comes from the artistic license and a bit of wordplay in the Bible's Latin translations. In Latin, the word malum can mean both evil and apple, which probably played a role in blurring the lines between the two. While scholars have proposed real possibilities of what the fruit might have been, like figs, grapes, or pomegranates, the true identity of the forbidden fruit remains a delicious mystery. 24. Fat-free means healthy. Reaching for fat-free cookies or low-fat yogurt might seem like the healthy choice, but hold on a sec, that fat-free label can be misleading. While they might be lower in calories compared to their full-fat counterparts, these products often pack a hidden punch of sugar, sodium, and artificial ingredients to enhance flavor and texture. These additives can negate any potential health benefits and might even contribute to negative health consequences if you eat them regularly. 23. More sweat equals more calories burned. Do you feel drenched after a workout and assumed you've burned lots of calories? Well, I may be about to burst your bubble. Sweating is the body's way of regulating its temperature and expelling excess heat. It's not a magic calorie burning potion. Sure, physical activity that makes you sweat is likely burning calories, but the sweat itself doesn't contribute to that burn. It's simply your body shedding heat to keep you cool. So the next time you're dripping with sweat, know it's a sign of a good workout, but focus on your workout intensity and duration for a more accurate picture of your calorie expenditure. 22. Cold weather causes colds. <sighs> Feeling a chill doesn't have to mean that you're coming down with a cold. Contrary to popular belief, cold weather itself doesn't cause those sniffles and coughs. The culprit behind most colds? Viruses. These tiny invaders spread through contact with infected individuals, not by the temperature. But cold weather can be involved indirectly. You see, cold air can dry out your nasal passages, potentially weakening your body's first line of defense against germs. Additionally, some people tend to spend more time indoors in close quarters during winter, increasing the chances of viral transmission. So the next time you're bundled up, remember, it's the viruses, not the temperature, you need to watch out for. 21. We only use 10% of our brains. There's a popular myth that claims we only use 10% of our brain power. Have you heard of it? Well, luckily for us, that is not quite true. Neuroscientific research shows that most areas of the brain exhibit activity throughout the day, even during rest. Different regions become more active depending on the task at hand, whether it's solving a complex problem, composing a melody, or simply enjoying a conversation. While the exact percentage of brain use remains the subject of debate, the notion of a dormant 90% is a myth. 20. The truth about lightning strikes. We've all heard the saying, lightning never strikes the same place twice. But is it really true? Nope. No, it's just another myth. Lightning is actually naturally attracted to the path of least resistance, often the tallest object in the vicinity. This makes structures like skyscrapers, mountains, and even tall trees prime targets for repeat strikes. The Empire State Building, for example, gets hit by lightning multiple times a year. So the next time you hear thunder roar and see lightning flash, remember that towering object you see just might become a lightning rod again. 19. Cleopatra was Egyptian. Did you know that Cleopatra, the famous last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, was not an Egyptian? She belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty, a line of rulers with Greek Macedonian ancestry. Following the death of Alexander the Great, the Ptolemaic family established themselves as rulers of Egypt for nearly three centuries. While Cleopatra embraced many aspects of Egyptian culture and even became the first Ptolemaic ruler to learn the Egyptian language, her lineage stemmed from Greece, not Egypt. 18. Samson and Delilah 
The tale of Samson and Delilah is a classic story of strength, betrayal, and, well, haircuts. However, a very important detail is often misremembered. We all know Delilah played a crucial role in Samson's downfall by discovering the source of his superhuman strength, but did she actually snip off his famous locks? The Bible itself doesn't explicitly say Delilah cut his hair. After Samson reveals his secret, that his strength lies in his uncut hair, the scripture mentions he fell asleep on her lap and someone shaved off his hair. Delilah likely called upon a servant to do the deed while she reaped the benefits of his vulnerability. 17. The Rapture The Rapture is a sincere belief, by certain Christian denominations, that true believers will ascend to heaven to be with God at some point in the future. It spawned books, movies, and very lively discussions. The foundation for this belief comes from very specific interpretations of passages from the New Testament, particularly the writings of the Apostle Paul. However, many people don't realize that the term rapture itself doesn't appear in the Bible at all. Regardless of personal beliefs, the timing of the rapture is the crux of the debate. Some denominations see it as a pre-tribulation event, while others believe it coincides with a prophesied period of tribulation. 16. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Have you ever heard someone say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, it's time to toss that old proverb right out the window. While puppies are certainly sponges for learning, older dogs are perfectly capable of picking up new skills and commands. The key lies in using positive reinforcement techniques like treats, praise, and patience. Yes, an older dog might take a bit longer to grasp a new concept compared to a younger pup, but with dedication and the right approach, they'll surprise you with their trainability. I literally taught our chihuahua, well, I was, my girlfriend and I literally taught our chihuahua to shake. She didn't do it before. Now she gives her paw. And she's 14? Yeah, to be done. 15. Coffee stunts your growth. Did anyone ever tell you that coffee will stunt your growth? Well, dear friends and fellow coffee lovers, I'm very glad to tell you that scientific research hasn't found any truth to it. While caffeine, the main ingredient in coffee, can influence your sleep patterns and potentially impact your body's calcium absorption in high doses, there's no evidence that it directly affects a person's growth. So if you're still growing, I can safely confirm that your genetics and overall nutrition play a much bigger role in determining your final height. So go ahead and enjoy that cup of joe. 14. Deodorant causes cancer. Sweat is a natural, healthy bodily function, and deodorants are your allies not your enemies. Let's debunk this right now. There is no scientific evidence that deodorants or antiperspirants hinder sweat production or cause cancer. While some studies have explored a potential link between aluminum and cancer, none of them have been conclusive. So please feel free to sweat with confidence. Your deodorant is there to keep you fresh, not to create health concerns. 13. Cinco de Mayo is Mexico's Independence Day. Cinco de Mayo may be celebrated in the U.S., but it doesn't actually mark Mexico's Independence Day. It actually commemorates the Mexican victory over the French forces at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Mexico's real independence from Spain is celebrated on September 16th, the anniversary of a call to arms known as the Grito de Dolores. So, come May 5th, my grandmother's birthday, remember it's a celebration of Mexican heritage and a specific historical triumph, not the country's Independence Day. Although, again, we can all celebrate my grandma's birthday as well. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandma, which is not for another month, but yeah, whatever. 12. Chimps have more hair than humans. Chimpanzees must have more hair on their bodies than we do, right? Wrong. While chimps might appear furrier, the truth is humans and chimps have the same number of hair follicles per square centimeter. The key difference lies in the hair itself. Human hair tends to be finer and less visible than our primate cousin's coarser, shaggier hair. 11. Widening highways improves traffic. Studies have shown that cities with extensive highway systems experience worse traffic congestion than those with more robust public transportation options. I know it doesn't seem logical, but adding lanes often triggers a phenomenon called induced demand. This means that increased road capacity tempts more people to drive, in the process negating the initial benefit of additional lanes. 10. Shaving makes hair grow back thicker and darker. Your hair's thickness and color are predetermined by your genetics and hormones, not by shaving. In fact, the hair follicle or root beneath the skin's surface remains unchanged by shaving. What actually creates the illusion of thicker, darker hair is simply the blunt tip growing back after a shave, which can feel coarser compared to the tapered end of unshaven hair. So 
please feel free to shave away without worry or get your wax on. Smooth is the ultimate goal. Wait, what? Hold on. Hey! <laughs> Nine. George Washington Carver invented peanut butter. While Carver was a highly respected agricultural scientist, he was not the inventor of the world's favorite creamy delight. The history of peanut butter actually stretches back centuries. The Aztecs and Incans used to ground roasted peanuts into a paste as early as the 15th century. Commercial peanut butter production in the US only really took off in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. So while Carver did develop numerous peanut-based products, peanut butter was already a well-established food by the time he came along. Eight, microwaving food reduces its nutritive value. Microwaves work by exciting water molecules in your food, causing them to vibrate and generate heat. This heating method is actually gentler on some nutrients than other traditional cooking methods that involve high temperatures over extended periods. Yes, there might be concerns about radiation and loss of vitamins, but scientific evidence suggests that microwaving is simply another tool in your culinary toolbox. In fact, microwaving might even help preserve some of the antioxidants in certain vegetables. Seven, the pyramids of Egypt were constructed with slave labor. When we think of the pyramids and their construction, forced labor usually comes to mind. However, historical evidence suggests otherwise. Analysis of worker skeletons suggested that the pyramid workforce was made up of skilled laborers, not slaves. These workers would have been paid for their services and even received good food rations. Some archeologists have also come to believe that the pyramid workforce might have been supplemented by local farmers who worked on construction projects during the Nile floods when their fields were underwater. An arrangement like this would have provided them with a source of income and purpose during the off season. Six, Marco Polo brought pasta to Italy. Have you ever given Marco Polo a silent grazy for having the insight to bring pasta to Italy? While Marco Polo definitely encountered noodles on his adventures in Asia, there's strong evidence that pasta was already established in Italy by the 13th century when he returned from his travels. Archaeological finds and historical documents suggest various pasta-like dishes existed in Italy well before Polo's arrival. It's more likely that pasta's journey westward happened through trade routes, possibly brought by Arab merchants rather than a single explorer. Five, skinheads are white supremacists. Oh, okay. All right, two notes here. I didn't write this one. And take it with a grain of salt. This comes from an opinionated piece from a 1994 New York Times op-ed. Skinheads actually come from a diverse subculture. Not all of them are associated with racism or white supremacy. While some skinheads do hold racist and white supremacist views, definitely not denying that, it's important to remember that they come from a variety of backgrounds and ideologies. And in fact, there's actually some groups who actively fight against prejudice. So once again, you can check the, the link in the actual video. It's from a 1994 New York Times thing. So maybe that's changed in 30 years. Oh my God, 1994 was 30 years ago. Yikes. Please take this one with a grain of salt. I'm adding, I'm adding the PSA, not a PSA. I'm adding a little footnote. This, <laughs> the opinions in the uh, New York Times 1994 do not reflect those of List 25. So just reading what was written. Four, sugary snacks cause hyperactivity. Have you ever blamed your child's bouncing off the walls behavior on a sugar overload? <laughs> You're not alone. Many parents believe sugary snacks cause hyperactivity. However, science tells a different story. Research suggests that sugar itself doesn't directly lead to hyperactivity in most children. While sugary treats might provide a temporary energy boost, it's usually short-lived and doesn't translate into hyperactive behavior. Other factors like a lack of sleep or excitement over an upcoming event are more likely to be the culprits behind your child's energetic moments. Three, American Gothic is a portrait of a husband and wife from 1930. Did you know that the American Gothic house is a real landmark? It's a popular tourist destination in Eldon, Iowa, and draws visitors from all over the world who want to see the inspiration for the iconic piece of art. Getting back to the topic at hand, people frequently make assumptions about the man and the woman's relationship based on their appearance and body language. The artist, however, has confirmed that he modeled the woman after his sister, Nan Wood Graham, and the man after his dentist, Dr. Byron McKeeby. So the couple in the painting were not actually related. Two, parasitic catfish can swim up a human urethra. The Kandiru, a small catfish from the Amazon rainforest, has gained notoriety for its supposed parasitic habits on humans. 
There's no shortage of stories when it comes to Kandiru entering the urethra of unsuspecting swimmers. And while a few documented cases of people claiming this experiment exists, they all lack a strong scientific evidence and are generally believed to be nothing more than tall tales. The fact of the matter is that the size and anatomy of the Kandiru and the natural defenses of the human body make it highly unlikely this fish could even enter a human urethra. So the weight of evidence suggests the Kandiru's fearsome reputation is more myth than medical reality. One, women have an extra rib. While some people are born with an extra rib, supernumerary rib, or a missing rib, a genesis of ribs, these are variations that occur in both men and women, and they're not related to gender. The most likely root of this crazy belief can probably be found in the biblical story of Adam and Eve. But let's get rid of that today. Both men and women have 12 pairs of ribs for a total of 24. That's it. Our ribs play an important role in protecting our vital organs, like the heart and lungs, and their structure is consistent across genders. So if you ever hear something that silly again, you can confidently debunk it. So what's something you believed for a long time, but found out you were wrong about? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in the description. And if you enjoyed today's list, then you will love the one we did a while back on 25 odd and unusual facts that'll blow your mind. So to go to that list now, just simply click on this link right here. You won't be wrong about that. This is great. This is a great channel, because it's us. That is not a fact that was wrong. We're amazing. Y'all are amazing for subscribing and liking and watching. So watch more.